There's a place I can trace every line of, every line of me. I can taste every inch of the space I step into am I free? Sometimes I feel All right, everyone. Uh, hello, and welcome to the clags or tournaments. Uh, I'm just making sure we are live. So give me a sec. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the high Uh hyphen eu cup hash six uh semi-finals and today we are doing a coalition wins a match on grounded which is gonna be was g9 versus t uh team inx inq uh yep team inq i have never heard of uh both of the clans uh but yeah let's see how they gonna perform uh looks like the team is still uh prepping uh, players are joining. So everything seems good for now. And let me know if, if something goes wrong, if, if the stream is not working uh, uh, correctly, just let me know. Hello, Scarman. <laughs> so I'll try to read chat and then uh, the players are joining. So uh, it might take like few minutes for some people to join. Coalition wins.
Uh, do you have people? Wait, what's happening? I'm confused. I think we have enough people on uh, on CD side, but there's some uh, I think confusion going on on, on team G9. Hello, Vis. What up? Hello, Electromax. Asian caster for you. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, there might be some uh, people who maybe they are busy or maybe something. So that's why I'm here. I don't know maybe I think I think the info might have gotten leak and there's like some other people joining uh, so we might have some trouble here but I think it should be fine just uh, if people are actually join from a team this thing okay never mind uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think yeah this room is uh, uh, kind of oofed so yeah we have to rehost So yeah, uh, we might go on a little bit break for now because we have to rehost the room because there was uh, the room code was leaked so just give us like about uh, two or three more minutes till then you guys can just wait and listen to the uh, music.
Looks like we are back uh, with another room. So hopefully this room does not get leaked. But we're still playing, uh, waiting for the players. Uh, there's, I think, there's one player missing from Team G9 uh, because we have uh, every single player on Team INQ. Well, there's one player missing so we'll just wait for the last guy to join otherwise i don't know if uh the room is gonna get started in 45 Okay, there we go. We have the last player from G9. So hopefully now we can begin. Okay. Live. No, no, no. So it's gonna be the pistol round. We have all the players on both the teams. From INQ, we have iOS Ghost, God, Sendra, uh, Fort, Invites, and this is Mos Mosia. And on the other team, on G9, we have Javier, Rainbow, Fair, uh, uh, has, has 2K, and uh, Nexra. So this is going to be the players for tonight. Let's go, guys. Let's see <laughs> what's gonna happen in the knife round. Uh, players moving towards the B mid. Team INQ versus Team G9. Then going for the knife. Coalition Looks like wins. Team uh, INQ is gonna get the knife uh, that easily. And uh, the teams are gonna switch. So G9 is going to play on the city side for the first um, rounds and looks like the Mayan Q going for the T side. Okay. Good luck. Have fun guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so the only player I think I know uh, in this team is uh, Fair. Because I have seen Fair playing in like a lot of teams. Maybe he, he he might be someone else. But I have seen the name. And I do remember that. So. I do think so. It's, it's the same guy. And he is really good uh, a sniper uh, in uh, in Seops. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, he's a really good player. Uh, so looking forward to uh, Fair to perform really good on today's match okay beginning towards the first round 
Let's go, it's official. Both our teams are ready. Looks like team I and Q is gonna go for the B side. Just uh, rushing towards B long. Four man army. But team G9 already uh, two guys on B side. A stacked on B. But are gonna get tagged with that nade and that nade is gonna let them make like one hit uh, kills. A really really nice uh, play by team I and Q with that flash and nade buy. It's a still 3v5. Has 2k taking down iOS Ghost foes. 4 taking down Hesk, trading him off, making it a 2v4 situation. Still team G9 can try for the retake because it's just the first special round. Javier taking down God Sendra uh, with that lead but it's gonna get taken down by Fort. Rainbow taking down invites might save but is gonna get one more kill on Fort has no time so he's trying to fall back. Both of the players were one hit. They might have got engaged in a fight and uh, someone could have like got another kill but I mean it's the first still round uh, there was nothing to say but uh, still a really nice try by team G9 and for the first round for team I and Q. And mostly a fort with the 4k um, could have gotten an ace but uh, never mind. Rainbow taking down God Sentra and uh, this is Mosia with that deagle on uh, I, I, I guess storage. But storage is the most um, uh, predictable spot that people uh, can go on the first or second round. And deagle is the best weapon you can use for the for holding uh, uh, storage. And that's what Rainbow did. So making it already a 4v2 situation, uh, making it completely opposite of the first round, Iris goes and invites being the last two men standing on T side. He's trying to go towards B, he's gonna spot one guy but has 2k, he's gonna take down Iris ghost. Has still trying to spot the other guy, did spot him on B mid. Invites with that... Uh, SA58 can do a lot of damage but gets taken down by S2K. A really nice try by Invites. Cause I think most of the people on CT were Eagles. So S2K could have clutched it. Uh, Cause he had an SA and SA is a really long range weapon. But a really nice try by Team I and Q. And both of our teams are going neck to neck one on one. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how it goes. Pair taking down Ghost Center with the sniper Javir with the 2k 3k Can he get a 4k? He did spot the guy because uh, the smoke came from right behind from him and Fort is just gonna hide in the smoke Javir not expecting him to be in the smoke Pair might get taken down here because uh, he's gonna rotate and four taking down next the might get taken down right here or might get another kill and gets taken down by Hezex. The team was really confused like where where this guy is hiding? Why why is he like still in the smoke? Well, where he is? <laughs> he's, he's still hiding in smoke and, uh, and surprisingly it worked like two times. He, he got 3k or I mean I mean 2k uh, with just a deagle I think. Uh, Fort, don't know why he is typing in team chat. Invites taking down fair with that wall bang or be made. Would have spotted uh, fair just going towards that angle. Goes standing on aim it, trying to spot someone on aim it crossing. 
because the bomb is going to go towards b b long I, or maybe not the bomb is uh, dropped on the t spawn uh next ra just waiting for the smoke to go out and just hard peeking on that angle did spot the guy man gets gonna get taken down by god center with that god level sniping making it a 3v4 situation for team g9 has x waiting a long a mid for the rotations ghost and god centra just absolutely dominating uh team g9 and in why it's going to take down the last person standing has to k and we have the round on pause looks like we have some trouble uh in the teams and looking at the scoreboard we have javier uh, top fragging on team g9 on city side uh we have fort top fragging on team int on t side so far uh the score is good uh and if you look towards the bottom fraggers i think nexra and this is mosia are still not able to find any frags uh after four rounds uh kind of maybe unlucky but maybe they might get uh, like few frags in the up next up upcoming rounds so let's see what's going to happen <laughs> and i don't know why uh i think i think the team chat is off so that's why the players are chatting on all chat uh, i don't know it uh, Okay, there we go. So beginning of the fourth round, looks like Team G9 is uh, is aggressively pushing towards B mid with the Deagles, and Team G9 already rushing towards uh, a storage. Might not expect four of the people to just uh, uh, rush towards. Uh, Bomb has been planted. Storage. Someone is gonna get a 4K, I guess. So, there is gonna get <laughs> God Centra, and this is Mosia with the surprise, the back tap on. Uh, and the uh, the strat actually worked. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this strat to work for Team G9, but that was a really hell of a strat. To work, so, I mean the uh, fair fair did a really huge uh, uh, thing where he got like 2k on uh, team I and Q. So the team got distracted, and uh, the rest of the G9 uh, team had to just rush from A mid and storage, and that's what they did, and they they were successful on on this strat. a really really nice play by team i uh, team g9 that was really impressive uh, and looks like team i and q going towards uh, b may trying to go towards b side but uh, nexra is going to take down invites with that uh, kill through the smoke Bad, just waiting someone to cross from the uh pyramid section gonna spot uh, this is mayo sign so gonna take take him down coalition wins and team g9 are getting close too confident that they are gonna dominate uh, team i and q on ct side cuz looks like they are the ones who are pushing I, I, even though it's it's a ct sided map I mean, CT just has to camp, but Team G9 are being the aggressive players here, and uh, are all also like they are always successful in like uh, rushing um, towards uh, Team I and Q, and always getting them down. Javi is gonna take down three players with that SG, gonna do a lot of damage. Fair might get another kill. Javi with a really nice spray. Fair is not gonna get anyone down. 
And IS Go is gonna take down Nezra. Rainbow might get to crash here. IS Go is the. He's trying to spot some. He's gonna take down by Hez. And Hez wins. is gonna take down both of the players on Team I and Q. Look like Team INQ didn't have like any other choice rather than to rush with the same strat as Team G9 did with the Deagles. But uh, they were not expecting someone to have SG and just spray down like three of their players like that easily on B long. They, they should have uh, used a, a flash or some utility if they want to survive. But I mean, nice try. Invite taking down Rainbow. Uh, and has taking down 3k on team INQ might get another kill towards a mid gonna get uh, slightly damaged from the need knows that the player is on a mid but is gonna change his position this is Moss here trying to go towards B might go for the B plant because they're already spotted on his side. Fair and has not expecting them to rotate. Fair might go towards B now because he might expect that the bomb is gonna get uh, go down towards B. The players might rotate and already is expecting someone to come from A mid. Bomb has been planted. Ghost iOS in a really tight spot. Does not expect someone, but fair <laughs> just gets taken down surprisingly Reach from wins. from the uh, I don't know this area. It's a it's a city area, but a really nice positioning by iOS goes because fair didn't really expect someone to be there. So the the first round after like I mean I've after after three rounds the first round uh, T uh, goes for the team I and Q clan because they were not able to get any rounds after the second round so this is the first round they got after like uh, the the streak which the G9 clan had. Already making it a 3v5 situation for team uh, G9. Ford trying to flash towards A storage. Uh, wagon. I is gonna go towards A side, but his is gonna take down Ford with that pre fire shot. Invites. Taking down Rainbow. Javi is the last man standing on G9. Was on B. B mid. We'll try to go towards A mid, but is uh, I think spotted by invites. So let's see what Javir is gonna do. We did see a 3k spray by Javir. Javir is playing really good uh, in team G9. Is is gonna go for the attempt to get at least one frag, but gets taken out by God Sendra. A really, really nice try by. Team G9 and Javin. Has 2k with that 13 frags on Team G9. And we have Ghost. I was Ghost. Top fragging still. I mean, I think I think Fort was the top fragger uh, on Team INQ. But uh, now we are seeing that I was Ghost is doing some of the work here. Q pushing towards beam B side are gonna heavily nade towards CT. Nezra is gonna take down Fort with that AUG. I do believe it was a smoke uh, kill oh, uh, uh, through the smoke kill. Has is gonna take down my Mosoya. Mo Mosia, I, I still can't really pronounce that name. I'm really struggling to, but uh, I mean, I'm really sorry. 
and invites is gonna take down the last two players and gonna get the round for their team team i and q really are doing all of their uh strat in like the all of these rounds because uh, they haven't lost like any single round after they won like the third round for their team they're trying to get like as many rounds as possible and they are not being like that overconfident that they are ready to lose after they get like two rounds which is really good to see team g9 might be eco because they are they are losing like all of these crucial rounds so they don't have that many economy in their team as does as a aug and gonna get on a gonna take down ios ghost uh just staying on storage but the bomb is gonna go towards b and i think b side is clear fort is already on b side trying to snipe jammy and fair a really clean shot by fort is gonna hide towards the corner on uh, oil or tower might gonna go for the knife i think so he's gonna go for the knife but gets karma and lexra is gonna knife him back <laughs> a really bad luck for four and god center is gonna take down lexra six round on this side is really impressive for team i and q i and q is like doing a really good job uh playing on this side but finally we might see a round for because this is the last round team g9 has to try and they have to get this round otherwise it's it might be a gg for them because you at least need like six rounds on city side because it's a city map and who knows like team i and q might uh, do a lot of damage when they switch on the city side rainbow taking down fort and this is mosia gods and trading back a rainbow making it a 2v3 situation god sender and ios ghost going towards aim it javid is gonna wait towards aim it might get a frag right in what couple of seconds but uh, ios ghost is gonna rotate towards storage but has is uh, waiting on storage for someone to peek gonna be a really really bad luck if a uh, team INQ does not expect has to be on the left side if they don't check it but god sentra is gonna be that responsive and gonna get take uh, gonna take down has with that insane reflex bomb has been planted and javelin and fair already waiting on the back side of a not gonna let the uh, team i and q even diffused. get the plant and it's a 66 score and there you go the half of the round the half of the game again i'm sorry if i'm just uh, not that great in uh, in the casting but yeah there we go we have invites top fragging on team uh, i and q and we have has still top fragging on team g9 and there goes the first round after the first half switch goes taking down fair on the first round and for this uh, backstabbing nexra and next are not expecting someone to be on a mid has taken down is ghost and trying to rotate toward a mid b mid jav is trying to watch corners and try to trying to spot uh, an enemy if there's hiding is if anyone is hiding towards uh, b has is going to take down mosa god sentra is going to get 3k might get um, is gonna get 2k might get a 3k but is gonna 
wait patiently oh, and wins. invites is gonna take down javir with that uh, one tap or javir was a one uh, uh shot uh so a really really nice push by team inq not the inq g9 i'm not familiar with like both of the teams so i'm i'm already getting confused like which team is what but I'm trying my best to uh, just focus. Fort is gonna take down Javi, Nexa, Hex, and Rainbow with that 4K Coalition and insane wins. spray by Fort. That nade really did a lot of damage for Team G9. Fort is just not letting Team G9 even push towards B mid. Already seeing Fort having 15 frags on Team INQ on CT side and has getting 18 frags. Fort taking down Nexra, but uh, Rainbow is gonna take the refrag on Fort. Fire taking down in, uh, invites towards, I, I guess, Amid and Storage. Javi taking down God Sendra towards Amid. Already a 2v2 situation, 2v3, but now it's a 2v2 situation. This is more Ios goes taking down fair, making it a 1v2 situation for team G9. Javid has a deke, might take the might uh, get uh, a shot on, uh, I guess, uh, Ios ghost, but Ios ghost already knows someone is trying to push towards him, it is gonna easily take down Javid. So far, it looks like Team G9 wasn't successful to get like even one round after the switch. They are trying their best to get uh, towards any sites, but they are not able to. And Team INQ uh, getting three rounds in a row might be the first round for Team G9 because Fair taking down Ford, the only man who actually makes a difference on Team G9. And <laughs> Ford is trying to talk on all chat. It's not the best thing you could do, you should do. God Sendra just getting flashed. Finally, Team G9 is able to plant the bomb towards the B site. Rainbow is just gonna wait for the backstab. Ghost and God Sendra are gonna get the two frags on Javid and Nexra. They are just waiting someone to push. Rainbow is gonna take down Ayo's Ghost and gonna take down God Sendra with that uh, insane positioning on B mid. Like it's, it's really, really hard to take someone down if someone is camping on B mid because it's really hard to see and spot like where the person exactly is and even if you do like there's a lot of like inconsistency in the aim uh, when you're shooting through the uh, glass. But yeah, a really really nice uh, team work by Team G9 and finally they are making a difference in this uh, tournament. Next are taking down uh, two players on G I and Q, making it already a two v four situation again. And the bomb might go towards A. Javir making a lot of sounds towards A. We have iOS Ghost on the back side of A. Gonna spot Rainbow, but Rainbow is just too insane on that reflex. Gonna take him down. Four taking down Negra. Was I? I guess who was AFK for the round? Making it a one with his situation. Fort might save the sniper for their team. Has uh, only 65 HP. He does not have armor. It's a really risky move that uh, team G9 might hunt him down. 
they have enough time but i i think so they are not really trying to go aggressive and trying to take down the last man standing on team iq so 9 to 8 we have fort still the top fragger and looks like uh, the bottom fraggers this is myos and nexra did find some frags on the upcoming round so they are still not zero still good team g9 fully rushing towards uh, b a side ios goes going to take on javier has is going to trade that skill back on ios goes in white trying to spot people and trying to not let the bomb go down towards a and that wall bang is going to do a lot of damage to invites this is most are trying to spot someone on the corner bomb is going to go down next round waiting for the big fort making a difference with the sniper finally uh, is going to do a lot of damage for taking down rainbow trying to spot the last guy fair a sniper was a sniper and fair is just going to expect him to hard scope or uh, towards the wagon and is going to do the uh, the basic uh, strat just uh, jump and uh, shoot <laughs> and is going to get the round for the team fair with that really nice prediction for team g9 and g9 finally making it a tie between both of the teams team inq and team g9 looks like team inq might go eco or maybe not i was goes already kind of low from that max a rainbow ting down in white gonna be a really hard push for team g9 cause wagon is already smoked and uh, team inq is already waiting for team g9 to push to a fort is going to get take the uh, going to take down two of the players in surprise push from the smoke wasn't expecting uh, him to get like two frags right there but uh, he was kind of lucky but gets taken down by fair on that back stab with that u ratio fair trying to jump snipe got sendra did spot him where he is hiding but ios goes is going to take down fair making it a 1v2 situation rainbow a really low 9 hp might get taken down right here by that wall bang or the or even even one shot can take him down a really really nice try by uh, g9 rainbow bomb has been defused So finally uh team INQ trying to take their spot and trying to take the lead on CT side making it a 10v 10 on 9 scoreboard Fort really doing a lot of work on team INQ uh still haven't seen uh, like any other players stop fragging or out fragging him on the uh, CT side Tossing frag Fort again That's what I am saying. Fort is making a lot of difference on Team Iron Q. He's he's always getting a lot of frags, but also gets taken down by Jave and making it a really a uh, short round. Team Iron Q is gonna get the another round for their team, and Team uh, G9 is gonna get absolutely destroyed by Team Iron Q. going for the full buy i think they very go i i i wasn't really paying attention uh, but i think they might have been eco because they are going for the full buy on this one they are trying to spot someone towards be made fort might still get like three or four more frags right here because he's the only one who is able to get like all of these uh, um insane uh, like kills fair going to take down mosia 
he's gonna spot someone else towards B long gonna take down fort a really bad luck for both of these players gonna get flashed on B long I don't know where did that flash did reach uh, team uh, G9 from it's already a 3v5 situation team INQ is not uh, really in the best position they can hold iOS ghost is gonna wait towards storage gets flashed and Jav is go just gonna take down IS ghost with that easy kill because IS ghost could do nothing uh, with that flash on him team G9 taking another round and closing the a uh, lead for one round let's see if they are able to get like another round for their team and to be honest I still uh, can't say which team might win because both of the teams are playing really good uh, both of the teams are doing a really good job in holding like every single angle they are pushing Hez is gonna take that 3k on A side just insane push to connectors but gets taken down by Inwise making it a 2v1 situation Inwise is gonna take down Javin and closing the the gap again for the two rounds taking a lead for their team team I and Q I and Q yes team I and Q a really really nice push by Hez but that uh, that bad uh, like peak angles towards connector is just gonna let him lose the round so far no one is trying to push towards uh, B there is there's only one player pushing towards BL that's what uh, Fort on B long Fort taking down next round Fast taking down this is Mossia with the sniper and also taking down Fort with that pistol Fair doing a really good job using that sniper gets 3k on team I and Q might make a difference right here making it a one with his situation team g9 does not really have to bother like too much because it's a 3v1 situation trying to hunt down uh ios ghost and not letting him save this round he has just waiting towards ct and fair might go for the clip gonna gonna try to get at least 4k Expecting him to be towards A mid, but Ghost is just gonna camp towards storage. He's gonna save the AUG. Let's see if uh, iOS Ghost is gonna be greedy and gonna peek towards uh, connectors. Cause Fair is trying to spot, spot him down and trying to hunt him down. And Ghost also taking down Hez. Just trying to find the last guy remaining. And... Uh, is just gonna not gonna be on his favor to just hunt him down, but gonna get him hunted down. <laughs> Still a really tough, uh, uh, like uh, thing to predict, like which team is gonna win because uh, 12 on 11 score. If team uh, G9 is gonna be able to get uh, the one more round for their team, it's gonna be really intense to see like which team is gonna win the last round. Cause it's it's going neck to neck on both of the teams. Both of the teams are getting refrags and they are trying to retake the sites. And both of the teams are doing really good. So it's really hard to predict like which team are gonna win. Looks like God Sendra and iOS goes waiting towards the uh, A site. Gonna take down Nexra and Javid, but uh, Hez and Rainbow gonna trade those skill back. Already making it a 2v2 situation again. An intense moment for both of the team. All of the players are 100 HP. Rainbow with that really uh, bad timing, just looking towards 
A is not expecting someone to be behind him and gets uh, knifed might not be sounding that's what i'm trying to say and has is just going to be wait patiently uh towards that connector angle and good luck for both of the teams that's what i am saying like both of the teams are going neck to neck it's really hard dude it's really hard for me to predict like which team is going to win like otherwise if you might see me if i'm casting i would always predict like uh, either this or this team is going to win in the first half so but it's 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 really hard on this situation because both of the teams are really good in what uh, they are doing So an intense movement. Looking at the scoreboard, Fort and Hez top fragging again. Still on both of the teams. Not gonna see scoreboard for that long, cause uh, we might see a lot of action in the last round. Both of the teams are really um, focused on their gameplays. Does not want to make any uh, any mistakes, cause one mistake can lead a huge difference for their teammates. Fair trying to. Take down uh, someone on aim it. I don't know who is uh, trying to hold aim it. I was gonna take down Javi Rainbow and Nexra pushing towards uh, A site. A site is already uh, open for Team INQ, uh, Team uh, G9. INQ Fort is gonna take down Rainbow, making it a 2v3 situation. Has is gonna take down. And fair with that collat shot on the last, gonna take down Mosia. A really, really insane positioning, and that one sniper shot makes a huge difference for Team G9. And congrats to Team G9 for winning the match. And a really nice try by Team INQ. A really, really nice try. I do win. Both of the teams played really good. Because I haven't seen like this kind of like intense like match between like like any other teams. Like it it was going neck to neck like all of the rounds. Like you couldn't predict like what's gonna happen. We have seen like a lot of strats from both of the teams. Like are, are really good strats. Again, congrats to Team uh, G9 for winning the uh, round, uh, winning the game. And again, nice try to Team INQ. Both of the teams played really good and looking forward for both of the teams to play again on the tournament. And yeah, thanks for joining everyone. And uh, so far, I don't think so. There is a poll where people could vote. But yeah, well played both of the teams and uh, signing out SKL and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out guys. See you later.